Hi everyone. Today we will learn how to prepare map layout using ArcMap. So preparation of map layout is very important for the case of any project because output uh, to be in a good manner so that client can understand very easily. Uh, we will see the preparation of map layout using ArcMap. So first we need to understand uh, open uh, ArcGIS, I mean ArcMap. Uh, see that your data is opened. Uh, here, uh, for illustration, we have considered India map, then uh, AP state map, as well as district map. See that once your data is uh, completed, then uh, we can go for uh, layout view, go to view, layout view. We can also identify a button uh, at a specified location. Uh, then uh, uh, right click on uh, menu bar then uh, see that uh, layout tool is activated so where we can uh, change the layout type go to change layout here we need to understand our required uh, uh, size and uh, uh, specific layout can be selected here we are considering a4 uh, landscape then make it okay here we can understand uh, the data frame uh, is uh, seen then uh, paper size also uh, we are able to identify external boundary is nothing but paper size so as uh, we are seeing all the layers in a single frame uh, we can uh, consider uh, individual layer in the form of separate frame for that go to insert uh, data frame so new data frame will be added to the table of content So as we are having a number of layers, here we are having three, so we can consider two more data frames, new data frame, you simply drag the India map into the new data frame. So India map is considered or framed into new frame, then we can remove from the main table of content. Then likewise you go to create one more data frame, go to insert, go to data frame, then we can consider another state map into another frame then we can remove from the main layer content I mean table of content so we can understand uh, uh, all the layers now are in different uh, data frames so that we can represent in a specific manner then we can consider uh, uh, India map and uh, state map as well as uh, a district uh, map of a specific uh, state can be seen in different uh, frames now we can have uh, outline then we can go to insert and uh, go to outline uh, we can make the external boundary first we need to prepare the external boundary assume that it is the boundary uh, with respect to paper size then uh, you just uh, make by dragging all the sides equal sides Then we can, have, we can have one more boundary for the case of all the layers. Have another neat line, insert neat line. Then if you want to change any properties, we can change here like line type or thickness, whatever it may be. So you try to uh, reshape the boundary, uh, which should have equal uh, sizes from uh, for both all the sides. You try to understand uh, then where we can uh, insert whatever the gap we are seeing at the top where we can insert the title right now we can adjust uh, uh, all the specific uh, layer or uh, frame sizes so as we need to uh, focus on a district map we can uh, reduce the size of uh, uh, country map as well as state map you just uh, uh, see that uh, India map then uh, we can understand we can uh, make uh, such kind of guides so that uh, if you draw a line by means of uh, simply selecting on rule just click on rule one guide is added so we can uh, snap the border or frame to the particular line so that we can see in uh, single alignment all the maps can be seen in single alignment just uh, click on rule uh, guide line will be appeared so when you drag or move the particular frame automatically it is going to snap to the particular borders so that we can maintain uh, alignment you try to have the guides on all the sides 
you simply drag to the particular location automatically frame will be snapped to a particular end so that we can see in a particular alignment so you just select uh, individual frame and uh, full extent zoom to full extent so that we can see the full view either it may be a country map or state map or district map or whatever it may be so right then we can have one more guide if it is required so if it is required you can uh, you can make that uh, for the case of all the corners okay then uh, again we can uh, uh, we can insert uh, maybe a legend or a title whatever it may be then uh, go to uh, see see that uh, all the maps are added go to insert uh, maybe title click title you just uh, give the name of your map so like uh, district map of uh, andhra pradesh district map of on the place whatever the map we are considering naming is also a very specific uh, so that client can easily understand the specific theme so you place at the uh, gap where we have provided you double click on that then uh, we can uh, change the properties like uh, font or angle or color whatever it may be so go to change symbol go to change symbol then here we can identify all the uh, text uh, properties uh, to update or to, to change or to select then uh, here we can uh, see that uh, font size can be increased or color can be changed if you want to make it as bold you make it bold then color then even font uh, type can also be uh, changed here you just make it okay okay so if it is required to change we can change right we can move Uh, wherever it is required then uh, so for time being a title also com completed then go to insert then uh, legend so we can uh, see see that here while uh, selecting legend particular data frame should be uh, selected here now we can understand uh, district map is highlighted here we can uh, opt uh, number of columns to so that we can insert the legend legend in uh, two columns if it is required single we can make it as single that is depending upon the paper size or layout which we have selected so we can consider a number whatever it may be next go on to finish see that legend of a district map is added we can drag or we can move to a specific location wherever we required then you make the size which is approximately of same size which we have provided for the case of previous uh, with the help of guidelines so that uh, uh, it gives pleasant appearance when we make into uh, uniform uh, lines so for here also again we can create a neat line so to create any border or neat line for any specific uh, area first you select that then you create a neat line so that a neat line will be considered only for that if you not uh, able to select it creates for total so now i hope uh, it is uh, clear then we can also insert uh, like previous we can go for north arrow then uh, select whatever you want then uh, we can uh, drag to another location whatever it may be you go to some location uh, we can make it to uh, zoom by simply extending we can uh, rearrange the size maybe some you reduce the size once you once you change the sizes then again we need to go for the pull extent then select select particular theme then right click go to full extent so that uh, a theme or layer will be completely extended into the particular uh, frame then uh, we can understand uh, uh, one more scale is also required go to insert then uh, scale bar 
you choose whatever the type it is required you simply select and uh, make it okay then we can drag wherever it is required so to change the properties you double click on uh, scale then uh, see here subdivisions can be considered two then if you want to change the units we can change from default from mile to kilometer you change that then if you want to increase the size we can increase whatever it may be right can move down okay now see that uh, the basic information is added if you want to add any text we can also add a, a text apart from uh, i mean title see that uh, before that we will add latitude and longitude for the specific frame go to properties grid go to properties grid select grid then a new grid here we need to create new grid select graticule or whatever the property you required go to next see that uh, it is required uh, only labels or ticks or everything then interval can be given here here uh, i am giving uh, um, maybe three degrees uh, if you required more you can give or if you want less you can give the value then uh, next finish then we can uh, apply now see that uh, latitude longitude added but uh, need to go to the change the properties you go to the properties uh, like uh, uh, creating text vertical or increasing the text size whatever it may be color if you want to change the latitude longitude text color we can change by selecting properties see that size can be increased then whatever the style you want you can then uh, we can uh, a label see here vertical label can be seen for the left and right side because uh, text can be appeared uh, if text is appeared vertical it will be good right now we can understand uh, you just apply ok see that all the properties are updated so likewise we can uh, add many more things if everything is final then we can go for the um, maybe uh, we can uh, insert uh, text apart from title we can also insert text you just uh, drag the empty text box to the required area then uh, say for example India uh, you double click on the text you change make it to India then uh, like uh, title here also we can understand as size is very less you just double click then go to change symbol then uh, uh, see the properties or select the properties like uh, font type or uh, maybe color or size whatever it may be you make it uh, somehow increase the size then whatever the properties you required you make it India that's all likewise we can uh, create whatever the uh, text we can increase then if everything is okay then we go to the file go to the file then export map export map you can find the option under file export map then choose path choose path then give the name a district map of district map of ap then save the type whatever the type you want like pdf or emf file or pmp or jpg or tiff file so we can choose as per our requirement the time being we are saving here it as a PDF see the process once process is completed then we can check the folder given path is D test uh, automatically PDF file is uh, added in the particular uh, folder you just open that see output map is map layout is generated in the form of PDF so likewise we can create output so we can save the file if it is required 